Stanislaw Totter. Stanislaw Totter nam de Guerra Stanislaw Taber October 3, 1896. December 16, 1980 was a Polish army colonel in the interwar period and during World War Roman II. One of the commanders of Armia Kradow, Polish resistance movement. He was appointed brigade general in 1943 and half a year later flew from occupied Poland to London. After the war ended, Tatar betrayed the London-based Polish government in exile by organizing. The first batch of money was stolen en route by a consul in 1945, yet Tatar went on with his plan in 1947. He came back to Poland in 1949 on the promise of military leadership with LWP, only to be arrested and falsely accused of conspiracy against the party by the Stalinist secret policers and Bespikesenstwo. Subsequently, Tatar was tried and sentenced to life imprisonment in the so-called trial of the generals, but released from prison during Polish October of 1956. Biography Stanislaw Tatar was born October 2, 1896, in Biokowielki village in Lesser Poland. In 1915, during World War I, he was conscripted to the Tsarist Russian Army. In 1917, he was transferred to the first Polish Corps formed in Russia. In November 1918, together with the remnants of his unit, he joined the renaissance sovereign Polish Army. During the interbellum he continued serving in the military. Having finished numerous officer courses, in 1934, he became one of the tutors of artillery tactics at the Higher War School with the Asikola Wojna in Warsaw. He held that post until 1938, given the Knight's Cross of the Order of Polonia Restituta. During the invasion of Poland he served at various posts, including the command over a military detachment named after him. After the Polish defeat he evaded being captured by the Germans and Soviets, and joined the newly formed Zwiezek Waki Zbrojnij ZWZ, the biggest resistance organization, that eventually transformed itself into the Home Army. From 1940 to 1943, he served as the head of the 3rd Detachment Operational of the General Staff. After 1943, he also served as the Deputy Chief of Staff of the entire Home Army. Among his most notable achievements was creation of the plans for Operation Tempest. In 1944, shortly before the Warsaw Uprising, he was transferred to London, where he assumed the post of Deputy Commander-in-Chief for Home Matters. After the end of World War Roman II in 1945, he became the Commander of Artillery of the First Polish Corps in the United Kingdom. After it was disbanded in 1947, he remained in the UK. Fundus Obrini Narodowicz Affair In July 1947, Tatar organized the secret transfer to Poland from the London-based Polish government in exile of the Treasury of the Pro-War Fund of National Defense Fundus Obrini Narodowicz, FON. The new Polish government promised to use it to help veterans. Already in 1945, on advice of Jersey Putrament, Tatar gave Polish communists $100,000 and 100 gold coins stolen en route to Poland by Consul Sobolski, who vanished. The 1947 shipment consisted of gold bars, 350 kg, and $2.05 million in gold and silver coins. The ten metal containers were brought to Warsaw on the 3rd and 13th July by Colonel Leon S. Wadzer, I pull a Landau letter from the embassy. Most of it, however, was subsequently stolen and split among the Stalinist dignitaries and security forces under Jacob Berman, without leaving a paper trail. Unlike some of his fellow generals of the Polish army, Stanislaw Tatar was not deprived of Polish citizenship by the Soviet-backed communist authorities of Poland, and in 1949 was allowed to legally return to his homeland. Upon his arrival to Warsaw, however, he was arrested by the Soviet in KVD, imprisoned, and charged with espionage. As a victim of the general's trial, show trial of 1951, he was sentenced to life imprisonment and imprisoned in Ronki prison. After Joseph Stalin's death, and the start of a period of liberalization in Poland in 1956, he was released from prison and rehabilitated. 
Potter died in 1980.